What is up guys, Mikel Hayden here, back for another finance news video. We've got a couple articles we're going over today, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so back in March, the Fed had predicted, forecasted, like three rate cuts that were supposed to happen this year, and so far we've had none. Um, and just again on Wednesday, they reconvened and gave a notice or a report saying that basically that three rate cut forecast has now gone down to basically just a one rate forecast but that hasn't even happened yet now the reason that everyone's wanting these rate cuts is because it'll lower rates for things such as mortgage rates which would make purchasing a home more affordable for the everyday american and resolve a bunch of the housing issues that we're currently seeing which we'll get into later but yeah like i said they're only doing one rate cut now as far as what they're forecasting these are forecasts as they wanted to kind of reiterate in their statement on wednesday these aren't set in stone by any means but um, based on the data what they're seeing in the market that's what they expect is to see one rate cut um, sometime by the end of the year the two main factors that they mentioned that would influence said rate cuts are one, unemployment in the market, which recently I believe hit an all time high since like 2022. Um, and then the second factor is kind of price stability. So um, inflation is related to that. If prices are kind of becoming more stable, then there's more kind of makes more sense to have a rate cut if prices are still all out of whack inflation's going crazy then um, I wouldn't really expect rates to come down now let's take a look at the housing market which as I said are related to those rate cuts but it continues to be overvalued and overpriced at the moment because of the shortages in home supply and the high interest rates for mortgages and the overvalued prices of these homes, people have kind of termed it a housing market doomsday. I don't know if that's the correct term to be using, but it definitely doesn't look great at the moment. But a report by Fitch Ratings, a one of the largest credit ratings uh, companies in the market, they found that homes by the end of the year 2023, so by the end of last year, Homes were overvalued by about 11.1%. On top of this, the housing supply is very low compared to what it has been in the past. And we can see in this chart that home builders aren't doing great at the moment. Stock for most of the big ones are down, meaning they're not performing as well as they'd like. And because of that, the home supply is continuing to be short at the moment. These overvalued homes are especially prevalent in these five states, if we look at this chart here, and we can see kind of the percent increase in home values as well as what those median home values currently are sitting at. The two main factors for why the doomsday is happening and continues to happen for the last couple of years is due to that housing shortage because we weren't building nearly as much during those COVID years. And people that had locked in at that sub 3% interest rate are just not willing to sell their homes right now, which is just adding on to that housing shortage. Put that into perspective, the housing supply is down about 34.3% right now. And a deficit that big is going to take time to correct as home builders are going to have to ramp up production and building homes just isn't a fast process anyways. On another note that could be slightly positive is that a lot of those people who aren't currently willing to sell their homes, they said that if rates came down and broke below that 5% interest rate, they'd be twice as likely to sell their homes, which would also greatly help increase that home supply and help bring a lot of those prices down. 
on these overvalued homes currently. And it does seem that a lot of people do think the market is going to make a turn for the better and those home prices are going to fall, but we don't have a good historical viewpoint of this same scenario in the past. So data can't really tell us what is going to happen when. So really only time will tell at this point. And as always guys, thank you for watching and coming to hang out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Later.